Our objective is to find the White Lake's leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Lakes we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. So you're telling me this whole time, while I kind of came in from over there, and went all that way around the canyon, that Salt Upon Wounds and this whole operation was just down here? <laughs> okay. What's going on guys? It's the Pancake Renegade here and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I hope you all are doing fantastic. I'm here yet again with Waking Cloud. That it, yeah, that does say Waking Cloud. I wanted to say Walking Cloud for a second. Um, but here we are. I found this duffel bag inside of the Vault 22 Dwellers' guard camp. And, uh, well, I was looting these other things, you know, the other crates and chests and other duffel bags I found. And I stumbled across this one. Now, I didn't really want to loot it just yet, because I saw this. Beware, a vengeful spirit stalks these canyons, which can only refer to one man. Uh, I believe his name is Randall Dean Clark, uh, the survivalist. So let's go ahead and take that. They have lots of hatchets. Uh, I already have a fully repaired Vault 22 jumpsuit, and I don't really need a flamer or anything else. Um, many strange plants in the valley. Yeah, you keep saying that. Okay, let's check the note real quick. Uh, let's see. If you're reading this message, then do yourself a favor and turn and run straight out of this canyon. For nearly 11 months, my people have been engaged in daily battle with an evil spirit of this place. Arriving February of last year with a party of 118 strong, we were attacked by primitives and forced to defend ourselves. Whereupon something began killing us in wide numbers. We have done our absolute best to find and kill this thing, thinking it was a man because it uses our firearms against us and traps of all kinds. But no man could defy our efforts as this thing has. It is more evil than any man could be. Not true. We have been reduced to just 34 of our number. We have lost six overseers before me. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they have like a line of overseers, I guess. <clears throat> Some have perished from the sickness in their lungs we have carried out of the vault, but that number is small next to the count of friends this thing has murdered. Now that I am finally made overseer, we are leaving straight away and will not return. If you have come to this seeming paradise seeking the fresh water, abundant game, and shelter you suppose you will find here, do not be deceived. You will, only, you will find only death here. Leave it once and put this miles between you and this place. May God have mercy on us all. J. Hendricks, Overseer, Vault 22 Expedition. Okay, cool. See, here are all the uh, little logs and such we found. Um, healing powder supply. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, so yeah, we have all the little notes from the survivalist and uh, if you guys had watched the last episode you'll you'll see that we um, actually found all of them and uh, whatnot if even if I didn't explore them in that episode I I went to them off camera and I grabbed the notes and that was like the end credits anyways um, before I actually finish the main quest or the main story of this DLC uh, gathering storms and then doing the rest of this stuff I learned that there were some side quests that were involving Waking Cloud and Follows Chalk. So, I know uh, in the beginning when we first talked to Follows Chalk and first met him, we asked him about a Bighorner, and that was apparently supposed to start a quest. I guess it didn't actually follow through with that branch of dialogue all the way, um, because I said I'd do it later. But let's start with Waking Cloud, because we have her here right now, and it's something about her family. Uh, let's see... Be passive. Interesting. I didn't realize that was one. Use ranged. Open inventory. Keep distance. Talk to. Wait here. Yeah, let's talk to. Cut to be you. Okay. So we can ask her more about her tribe. Don't really care about her tactics. She's doing fine the way she is. Let's ask her about her tribe real quick. We have dwelt in the narrows since the end that came in fire. When the father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the holy tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Okay. What do you know about Salt Upon Wounds? I believe I asked Daniel this in the last episode, but I'll see what you know. He is warped. You are a scout, of the white after all. Legs and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. 
Okay. Do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Uh... Oh, sorry, my phone fell. Uh, where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Wounds had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and... a little frightened. So, definitely Daniel's hiding something. I'm going to assume that all of them are dead. I could talk to him. Maybe he'll open up, uh, maybe he'll open up more to me. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. Alrighty, sure thing. I'm not gonna hide any of the truth for you. From you. Speaking. Alrighty, quest added a family affair. Find out what Daniel knows about Waking Cloud's family. Let's go here. <clears throat> and then after this, we have the quest. For, uh, I think it might be two quests from Follow Shock. The Big Horner one, and then maybe something else. But I'm not too sure on that. Oh, great. He's in the weird spot, isn't he? Okay, uh, let's actually head up here, I think, to, do I want to go to, let's go to, go to Half Mouse Cave, is that going to take me to the top of it? No, doesn't look like it, okay. Well, this cave isn't, uh, super long, which is fine, it's just a short walk, and we have Sorrow's Tribals inside here. So yeah, the end that came in fire is obviously referring to the nuke, the bomb, or the, the bombs that got dropped, and obviously the Great War. Uh, 2077? Oh, not again. Why does the game keep crashing? Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Unless you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start evacuating the Sorrows. I'm going to... Yeah, I don't care. Tell me about Waking Cloud's family. What, um... What do you want to know, exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. She said one of her births was difficult, and you helped her through it. I believe she mentioned that earlier on uh, in our companionship, but yeah, she mentioned that at some point. Oh, well, that's true. Waking Cloud is a talented midwife. She certainly brought more children into the world than I have. <laughs> but there are some problems she's never dealt with. One of them came up when she was having her third child, and I really didn't do much. I'm surprised she mentioned it. Tell me about her family. Did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? I did. <laughs> What's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. Too late. She's one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong. She's... Right hey, she's right behind me. Kind of hard. It's her husband. Don't you think she has a right to know? Keeping her in the dark longer and longer is going to just make what you're afraid of worse. To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? The player character. You're the new Canaanite who's supposed to help lead these people, not hide things from them. Come on. I know, you're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... we can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. Good, because you couldn't have anyways. Also, you meant... Uh, you said that uh, her children... Or, sorry, her and her husband's children made it, uh, made it, 
They made the trip north a few weeks ago, and they met some other new Canaanites. I thought you said new Canaan had gotten wiped out, and that you and Joshua were the only Until then. ones. Am I incorrect in stating that? Anyway, Waking Cloud, your husband's dead. Sorry to tell you. Got but you, you should have been able to hear that. I mean... About your husband. I'm afraid he was killed by White Legs during the evacuation. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me! Again, he's right there. Uh, I'm afraid so. Daniel kept it from you because he thought the grief would distract you. How... How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. He was only doing what he thought was best for the tribe. It wasn't an easy choice for him. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. Okay, question mark. Quest completed a family affair. You got anything else to say? Alright, well, uh, go back to your people's camp. Daniel was firm about my staying with you. Are you certain? Yeah, I have another quest to do it. Yeah, I'm sure. If that is your wish, I cannot change your mind. I will wait for you at the Sorrows camp until you return. Adios. Waking Cloud is returned to the Sorrows camp. Barrel cactus fruit added. Oh, all the stuff. Oh, man. Oh, actually, that's a really smart move. They give you all of the stuff in her inventory. Or in the car in the uh, companion's inventory before you leave. Before they leave your service, sorry. Lost Waking Cloud's quiet as the waters perk. Okay, but I'm over encumbered. So, uh, yeah, that also fits in with, you know, uh, her getting time to... Let's just go ahead and eat this, I guess. Uh, actually, no, let's go ahead and drop that. Our health is full, and we don't need any negative effects. DT plus one. That's not permanent. There's no way. Dirty water. Drop. Four healing powders. I'll give those to uh, Daniel as soon as I can. There we go. And then we're at one... Excuse me. 157. All right, white horse nettle. I'm fine. Where's Where's Daniel? Did we already leave? I love the friendly geckos. Those are so cool. Daniel, where'd you go? Please tell me you didn't go inside the cave. And that you're just up here or something. No? Okay, but yeah, now Waking Clouds has a legitimate reason to stay behind. And uh, she has time to grieve. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to find Daniel up here, but I guess not. Uh, it's not. It's not that pertinent. That means we get to keep this stuff anyway. All right, let's fast travel to the dead horses camp. <clears throat> I cannot wait until we get a perk uh, that increases, that lets me like fast travel while I'm uh, over encumbered. That'd be so nice. Hey, fellow truck. Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. Thank if you. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. Cool. We know those are white legs, so I'll just run through white these legs. options. Uh huh. Where do they come from? That's the weird part. Yeah, keep the Great Salt Lake. Want to know more about you? What can I tell you? That is a very good question. Um, well, we know why he's called Follows Chalk. He mentioned that in the first time we met Our him. Advanced scouts yeah, leave he just follows the chalk. It's literally just that. What are all those tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. Yeah, I knew about the uh, tattoos. Do you remember anything about Joshua from before he became your leader? That's an interesting question. Only a little. I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Oh, cool. Uh, what did he do for you? If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our t Yeah. Something about Caesar. What's with the shell casings in your club? We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe. So now, they are ours. Interesting. I can't say they seem that dangerous to me. 
but Joshua says they won the West. Hmm. Remember the new Canaanites? Little bit. All right, I'm just gonna run through this stuff. Why is it so important? We fight well, the White Legs. Because. Yeah. What's this obsession? Obsession you seem to have with civilization? He, I, if I'm remember, recalling correctly, he's the only member of the Dead Horses who is not afraid of the uh, taboo stuff. Maybe. I might be remembering that wrong. Let me tell you a story. Okay. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people, who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. Actually, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, is he, um, the lonesome drifter? Maybe. What does Joshua think of this? I, um, I haven't told him yet. Never had the Groans. Really? Maybe I could talk to him about it for you. Be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. Sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. I honestly think Joshua is all the way back at the uh, Sorrows camp. Quest added civiliz ci civilized, civilized man's burden. Okay. Uh, tell me about the... Yeah. About Fellows Chalk desire to see civilization. Tell me about this area. Any interesting wildlife? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. You mentioned this at some one point, yeah. Calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't. Come down in the valley and attack the camp, maybe I can help with that. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. just one thing. Don't kill him. Yeah, all this is like as if I never uh, looked into it. What would you suggest I do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the. Yeah, I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. But no quest was added. But now it is? Big Horners of the Eastern Virgin. Okay, cool. Let's see. So, we have three quests. No, we have two. Joshua Graham about Fallish Chalk Desire and find a way up to the cliffs. Uh, is that all the way over there? Sorrow's Camp. Oh no, this one. Maybe this way. Yes? Okay, this looks like it could be it. Up there, maybe. Oh, what are you? Is that a fish? It is a fish. I can't catch it, though. Hmm. Okay, keep our eyes peeled for banana yucca. Which, I'm currently not seeing any. And I didn't ask Follow Shock to follow me. That's cool. Hmm. Find a way up to the cliffs. Find the lost bighorner calf. Don't kill any of the mountain bighorners. Okay, let's save right here real quick. Let's make a new one. There we go. <clears throat> Just in case we accidentally do, I want to complete that optional objective and not kill any of them. If I can avoid it. And I think the way to avoid it is to use banana yucca. But I'm not having the best of luck with finding any of this stuff. Is that the calf? It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's see if we can't avoid it. We'll have to avoid it. Just kind of skirt the edges. Skirt the edges. You're in a really bad spot, but okay. Hmm. 
Still not seeing any banana yucca. One up there. I see one up there. And two. Okay. Set up the path here. Snag that real quick. Oh, there's two of them. Is that the... No. Come on. Keep walking. I need to get up there. But you're literally in the way. In the way. Let's just kind of skirt the edges here. Nope. I'm not coming for you. You stay over there. I'll stay over here. Cool. Got it. Uh, still don't see any other banana yucca, but let's avoid that guy. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's another banana yucca. Sweet. Oh, is that the calf? Okay, cool. Interact with the lost big horner calf. You have found the lost big horner, a mountain big horner calf. It looks hungry. Feed it a uh, banana yucca fruit? Sure. Come on, bud. Completed. Get the calf to follow you back to its mother. Which is where? It keeps saying interact. Is this thing going to stop again? Doesn't seem like it's slowing. Let's get here and let's go to the right. Scare at the edges. Come on. Avoid that one. Okay, you've stopped again. Is scared feed it a banana yucca? Yeah. So it's gonna like do a little eating animation and then follow me, I suppose. Still doing good to this rocky terrain. All right, let's go here. Hopefully you can... There we go. Cool. You skirted on past him. Stop in there. Sure thing. I don't want to leave it too far away, but I hope this is enough to grab its attention. Yeah, there we go. And then we have the final hurdle, which is this guy right here. He'll probably stop eh, around this rock, I'd say. Ooh, return the big horner calf or keep it. Let's return it. I don't need it. Saving content. Completed. Get the calf to follow back to the mother. Speak to follows Chuck. Big horner mother. Whoa, you have some gnarly teeth there calf is still on the opposite side of this rock but you know yeah come on let's go get you to your mom even if you know you don't want to move yourself just gonna scoot you on over here come on there come on come on come on all right that's close enough see don't you guys look so cute together Oh, someone's adorable. Okay. All right. Let's uh, head back down here. Remove the marker. Dead horses camp. Talk to Fellows Chalk. Complete that quest. And then head to Joshua Graham and complete what that other I tell one. You? Well, I returned the calf to its mother and didn't even kill any of the big horners. Whew. Glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. No, no problem. Five of five. Quest completed. Nothing else. Talk to you later. He's... T for a tribe. Don't have real questions. Okay. 45 auto pistol. I... Eh, thanks, but... I'm fine. I already, already have one of those. What else did you give me? Compliance regulator. I'll do that. Get rid of half a pound, the detonator. Oh, I got a war club. Okay. Um, 
Let's see, what's the damage on this? Damage is 14, strength is 2. Yeah, already that's a no. Thanks, though. It looks pretty sick. Okay. Oh, those are the signature weapons of the tribe. Okay, I see now. Because of the War Club and the 45 Auto combining the new Canaanites, weapons of choice, as well as, you know, their own. All right, Joshua, last I saw him, was over there on that bench, but he is now over here in the mist. Okay. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, I love his I voice. Fellas Chuck seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? You know, that means I'm going to encourage him to leave, right? Follows Chalk needs more guidance in his life. Just not from me. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Completed. Tell Follows Chalk your opinion of civilization. All right. I mean, while it would have been wise to bring him... Oh, not Angel Cave. Oh, well, it's right there anyway. While it would have been wise to bring him here anyway, just that way we can have both companions there, Follows Chalk doesn't go inside the Sorrows camp, and Sorrows don't go inside uh, the Dead Horses camp, so. What can I tell you? Would have had to walk a ways anyway. Talk to Joshua about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah? What did he say? He said he has a hard time being objective about the whole idea, and that I should give you advice. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? Civilization isn't perfect, but neither is tribal life. You should go see it for yourself. Really? You think so? Whew! I'm going to do it! After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Good for you, man. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. All right, cool. And with that, we have completed all of these side quests, as far as I know, in uh, the Honest Hearts DLC. So now that that's done, I want to make sure my marker's removed. We can tell Daniel whether the Sorrow should fight or flee. What we're going with is uh, sticking with Joshua and fighting the White Legs. So I think Joshua is right. We should fight him. Oh, no. Why? Why? Haven't you seen? I wish we could actually like on here to see that the show him the father's letter. The That'd be cool. For a piece of land. What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter, and he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. And you have the right to pull them off of their land? The father gave it to them. Survivalist, anyway. I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment, killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. Okay. Ooh. Are we getting a cinematic? That's gonna be cool. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, salt upon wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. 
This is an extermination. Let's do it. God be with you. Saving content. Joshua Graham has given you the Way of the Canaanite perk. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. Alright, I mean, that works for me. Is that a plane over there? Hold on. Hold on. I am going to sidetrack you, Joshua Graham. You made the mistake of taking me along on this. Like, maybe I can help you out, but... If I, I see a plane, what in the world? That's, there's gotta be some story behind that. No way there isn't. I can't believe I've missed all these locations. My legs are gonna break. <laughs> or I will! All of me, all of me is dead. What? Whatever, I guess, I guess we're leaving the plane just with zero explanation. No backstory, it's just a crash plane and no one says anything about it. Cool. Got it. A little bit upset by that. I feel like that's wasted potential. There was a bust. There was nothing in the plane. I couldn't even get to it. Took way too long. So you're telling me this whole time while I kind of came in from over there and went all that way around the canyon, that salt upon wounds and this whole operation was just down here. <laughs> okay. Three Marys. Huh. All right. Well, we are totally not going to get ambushed at all going down this. Canyon. Supposed to be heading down this passage. Oh, it does continue. Okay, I didn't I didn't see that. Whoops. Looks like I'm blind. Oh, that's that is not a sack. That is a rock. Can't tell what that is. This is taking too long. Audio warning. Let salt upon first escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. Uh, Joshua Graham's left your party. Lost Joshua Graham's way to the Canaanite perk. All right, cool, I can swap the good weapons. Dark Datura, am I just getting all the junk he had? Is he just unloading all his crap on me? Come on. Three Mary's Cavern. Cavern, Three Mary's Cavern. You've discovered Three Mary's Cavern. Alrighty, well, unless Salt Upon Wounds is directly inside here, then I guess I'll end off the episode if this is like a whole long cavern. Oh, I meant to bring my uh, shotgun. No. You're still alive? Whoa now. <laughs> oh jeez, oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I mean, there was only those guys at the front of the cave. There was literally no one else. There was like an ammo stash. And I honestly think uh, Salt Upon Wounds is right through there. 
into the light. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and leave that whole confrontation uh, for the next episode because I'm assuming there's going to be lots of dialogue and I've already pushed this episode way over its limits anyway uh, uh, before editing and all of that fun stuff. So sorry to postpone uh, the ending of the Honest Hearts DLC and let's get back to the main game um, for another episode, but you know, hope you, hopefully you guys can bear with me through this. Uh, we did do the whole Big Horner quest and that took a while. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking through it to the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!